it's been a long time what up you know what time it is it's your girl kp had to cut the music it's your girl kp it's been a minute man has it been six months already i think longer than six months it's a new year we've had thanksgiving we've had christmas new year's martin luther king the entire month of black history and your girl's birthday I will give an update on all of the things. I feel like I need to kind of take it back a little bit and talk about what's been going on. It's a new year. Um, This is a picture of me and my girlfriend went down to the Pearl here in San Antonio. Beautifully decorated. Um, Not a lot of editing done to the picture. So um, just taking in the holidays. It was kind of cool out. They had a farmer's market, holiday market. We had some cocktails. It was pretty dope um, to get out. Whenever I go downtown in San Antonio, I am often reminded how beautiful the city is and why I don't go down there often. It's about 25 minutes from my house, but um, it was dope. It was dope. I had an amazing company. Um, Great cocktails, beignets. Yes, for the beignets. And... um, It was a good way to spend some time together. Then I got to go home. Me and the girls, it was quite the whirlwind holiday, right? So me and Chicoya, we left one day. Kiara came later. Then me and Kiara left. And then Koya came later. We had an amazing holiday. Um, I got to see my favorite little people. That's what it's about. And I learned um, what's important to me, right? When I think about going home for the holidays, it's rarely, as my girls have gotten older, it's rarely been about things, but more so about spending time and making memories. So I want to continue to go home and make sure that the time is quality, right? So that little big hit girl in the top left corner, um, that's Whoop Whoop. Her name's Ayana. Um, she grew on Auntie Keisha. She grew on Auntie Keisha this holiday season um she has a voice and she's talking and she was feeding me feeding me pig booty is what she called it uh i have to try to share some of the videos it was just a good it was a good breakaway um yeah anytime i can go home and spend time with family got to see my favorite little guy demarius my sister it was just good to be home and kind of take a moment and refresh and prepare for 2020 i was back in san antonio for the new year it was refreshing, um, to say the least. You know, I, I have an update about my multiple sclerosis and all the things. I've taken a break. It's so much I need to say, right? I've taken a break off social media. I'm not on any social media at this moment, not Facebook, not Instagram, which this will probably be posted on one of those just so that I can get you guys to go out to YouTube and watch the full or listen to the full length, but it's been great. You know, you get you get tired of seeing, I don't know who needs to see this or 2020 this and 2020 that. And I just needed to clear some space and make room for all the amazing things that are happening in my life. My health is dope. My family is dope. Um, there's love. There's all the things. So I had to take a break. Um, and not one that says I'm taking a break off, off Facebook or Instagram. And not that there's anything wrong with that, but just wanted to take a little breaky break. Who knows when I'll return, right? Who knows? Um, you know, I am not. So I was probably more compelled to do this podcast because of um, Kobe and Gianna than any other reason, right? I committed to, to start podcasting again. Shout out to everyone who has said, hey, where are you? We miss you. We miss your voice. Um, but I think about the impact that, um, January the 26th had on the world, right? And not to make, um, not to make the impact that great. But I recall the morning of the 26th, my girlfriend and I were talking about death, right? And I was slated to leave for, um, Gainesville, Florida that Monday or Tuesday and we're talking about flying and you know I firmly believe that we all have an expiration date and whatever that is it is what it is right so 
I mean, that was the whole conversation. We were sitting and then talking about continuing that conversation around about, um, you know, my little sister died when she was 10. And I believe that was purpose. Her life was so purpose and impactful to my father. My brother passed away at 33. There's been a lot of tragic deaths. And I firmly believe that that is though it's supposed to be right. If not, those people would be here. And partially, you know, I have created that. I won't even say we. I have created that as my belief because it gives peace, right? It gives solace. It allows me to sleep because the alternative to believing that would be tormented ag and agonizing over what we can't control. That's how anxiety happens. So then, was this Sunday? I think it was a Sunday. And um, we were getting ready to start the day. And... I look at my phone and I see Kobe Bryant dead. What? No. She checks her phone. You know, for I think TMZ broke it first. We're on Instagram. Or she was on Instagram checking, checking, checking. And it was confirmed. Then they thought his daughter was with him. And I recall Kobe Bryant when he left high school straight for the NBA. He took Brandy to the prom, I believe, right? So this was obviously in high school at the same time. We were only He was only a few years older than I was. Didn't have really followed his career at all, um, but my girlfriend did, and it was a huge impact to her life. And then as you watched, I was able to watch some of the memorial, and um, people have shared his wife, his, his the um, Instagram of his wife, and all the stories and it's a lot it's overwhelming there's you know it was like a dark cloud it was heavy having not ever followed his career or never met him never saw him play ever it was heavy and I heard T.D. Jake share that the sadness validates the love right so um, even you know this past weekend which is the 26th we are almost two months outside of a month and a half beyond the incident they're passing. And mourning still exists. There's still pain. It still feels unreal. But those feelings may never go away. Those feelings validate the impact that he left and the magnitude of the legacy that he leaves behind. So I share um, having, you know, I think I have bought every magazine, the book. My girlfriend is in love with him, respects him, you know, that he was their Jordan, their Michael Jordan. And, you know, she exposed me to his thought process and mama mentality and to be on a constant quest to try to be the best version of yourself. That's what the mentality is. It's not a finite thing. It's a constant quest to try to be better today than you were yesterday and better tomorrow than you were the day before. It's, it, it's inspiration. So when we think about who he was on earth and when there's moments when we're having disagreements, when we find it hard to put one foot in front of the other, one perspective, which she's reminded me of, this woman, his wife, Vanessa Bryant, lost her husband and her daughter, 13 years old. Put that into perspective. And I try to live a life of that. But it's easy. We're human, right? No one's progress, not perfection. That hasn't changed. But then thinking about the goal is to be my best self today and to be better than I was tomorrow than I was today. It's a lifestyle. He embodied it. I heard him say in an interview post, right, after he had passed away, that his goal was to make sure that whomever he was defending regretted having ever picked up a basketball. That's dope. <laughs> That's a level of confidence. He practiced, you know, the the 24-8, right? I know those were his numbers, but he made seven days into eight. It, it was just so dynamic and, and inspiring. And I remind her and I remind people that I work with and I refer to him a lot. It was impressive. I mean, for the lack of anything else, it was merely impressive to see a human being solely dedicate his life to his body of work. Then he transitioned that into his family, his beautiful wife, and his children. And they have a, there's a gap for them, you know? 
they lost two amazing people. But I think to have sat at his feet, to I, I'm sure they can hear his voice saying, nope, you got to keep going. You got to keep moving. I watched the memorial where Vanessa, his wife, shared, you know, I know that Gigi couldn't be here without her dad and vice versa. So it was as though it was supposed to be. And I'm grateful that one, she shared it. And two, that she was able to come and, and show her strength people are concerned about her but also someone else might be going through something equally tragic and might need to know how do you put how do you make it how do you keep going and yeah it it was dope and more so than anything this podcast is just to share that you know maintain perspective live your life to inspire others make sure that you're living your life to and I was just sharing you know I I live my life to inspire others to serve others. I want to be my best self at all times. I had an amazing work year last year. Phenomenal. Although, to me, I'm just doing my job. But I love what I do. I absolutely love what I do. An amazing company, amazing leaders, an amazing team that I get to work with. So, yeah, I think about it often when I'm having a bad day. And we all know I've shared about depression and and the struggles, but just keeping a conscious effort and really trying to think about one, it could be worse, but what's the goal in life? Tomorrow has to be better. If I set the intention to make it that way, this, yeah, this was heavily influenced. Like I needed the world to know I needed to share and I needed to, to voice that what a great loss, but what an amazing legacy he left for his, that's amazing. <laughs> what an amazing legacy that he left for his wife and his children. You know, baby Capri, Bianca, and Natalie. Natalia, as he called her. Um, yeah, it's impressive. So that's the same smile that he has on his face and all these pictures and them too. Uh, we should wake up with that same level of energy and, and enthusiasm to go after the day. It's important to not allow his life to be in vain, not only for his family, um, but for what he stood for. Yeah, it's it's pretty amazing. If, you, if you're not familiar, I would say spend some time reading up on Kobe Bryant, his work ethic. Um, he was whether hashtag girl dad, right? He loved his he loved his daughters and his wife. It's impressive. At 41, you know, there's a song that says, "Let the work I done speak for me." His work is speaking loudly. And I'm grateful to have been able to know or to be inspired even post-mortem, right? Even after his life on this earth ended, um, that his legacy and and what he did here was still able to influence me and inspire me. Y'all know that I'm all about a quote. And this, you know, I actually had built these slides out before knowing that I was going to do to add in Kobe and Gianna. It's small habits, how you spend your mornings, how you talk to yourself, what you read, what you watch, who you share your energy with, who has access to you, that will change your life. Great segue coming off of talking about Kobe Bryant. It's the small things. He got up early. He did so many shots. He said 400 shots and had to make so many. How do you talk to yourself? I still have my affirmations on my mirror. I'm a mother, a daughter, an author, a leader. I am beautiful inside and out. I'm patient. I'm all the things, right? What you watch, what you put in your eye gates, who you share your energy with, surround yourself with amazing people. It's okay to to establish boundaries. It's okay to not tolerate things. Like 41 years old, 13 years old, 10 years old, 33 years old. We don't know if tomorrow's going to come and nor is it promised. So be mindful, be selective. Don't let everyone have access to you. That's that's not how this works. We have an option. Talking about what, what you say to yourself. I'm happy. I am strong. I love my body. Yes, I love the body. I attract love. I am kind. All the things. Affirmations are important. What are you saying to yourself? Affirm. The best thing I can do today is to enjoy what's here in my life. I have so many blessings right in front of me 
that are waiting to be enjoyed. A grateful heart attracts more to be grateful for. I am free from everything that used to weigh me down and cause me stress. This chapter of my life is the greatest one yet. And I'll say when I when I share about my birthday, I want to say the best birthday I've ever had. I was surrounded by family and friends. We had a great time. I cried, you know, I walked in, we had we went they we had a party. Um, they some of my friends got together at the club and they had balloons and gifts and you know all of those remove all of those things it was so emotional to think little old me I have an amazing team they yeah I'll talk about my birthday but it was one of those god I don't deserve it what have I done to deserve to be loved by an amazing woman what have I done to be deserved what have I done to deserve friends like this children like this health a job leaders like little old me I always find myself there. Yeah. Create it's it's perspective. We have a choice. Every day I choose to be happy. Every day I choose to be happy cuz just like you know and it's not a it's not a it's not a fear but rather it's in honor. It's in recognition that no day is promised. No next minute is promised. And every day on empty. This wasn't long, but it's what I needed to say in the moment. You know where to find me. Right now it's just on YouTube. I'm not on Facebook. I'm not on Instagram. Maybe I'll resurface, right? Maybe Miss Always Amazing will, will resurface. But I am grateful. I hope that this update finds you in perfect health and more than and in addition to that in perfect peace. Thinking about how you can make your life better, make someone else's life better, day better. What if you do to make someone smile? This life is so precious, just so amazing. It's a gift that we all have to be grateful of, even when it's not good. And I know that I've I've shared those sentiments before. But you know what it is. I'm not going to belabor the point. Um, no guilt, no judgment, no shame. It's always only pure dope unforgettable passionate wild crazy stupid love i'll be back sooner than you think your girl's out